my purpose is to make sure that all of these information is not lost or deleted. 因为我们是不知道官方什么时候会把什么帖子删掉的，所以我们都是在跟官方比速度。我们要保存我们的。呃，个体的记忆也好，或者是一种集体的记忆也好。Voices like these from Chinese citizens are very rare. People who are willing to speak out about the government's attempts to control news about the deadly coronavirus. They ask to remain anonymous because what they're doing could put them and their families at great risk. But these people are part of a new wave of Chinese citizens fighting to get the message out in a country that aggressively censors information. We have the right to speak, and we have the right to keep it secret. Accounts or messages like these calling for free speech are quickly scrubbed from the internet, or videos like this showing people frustrated about life under lockdown. Posted online one day, but gone the next. But the crisis over the coronavirus is changing the landscape, for now at least. Everyday citizens are preserving and reposting information the government doesn't want out there. I started to collect hundreds and hundreds of screenshots, and then as the outbreak got really bad, I thought it would be important to keep these or to collect and systematically archive this information. Experts say this kind of digital resistance is happening at a scale they've never seen before. At the beginning, I was just doing this on my own, and now it's about a hundred of us, and we're translating news articles and social media posts that are constantly being deleted right now. Social media networks like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter are blocked in China, but internet-savvy people use techniques that allow them to repost censored content to these platforms while staying under the radar of authorities. They're creating a visual archive by preserving videos like this one. Showing overwhelmed hospitals, <laughs> and they're reposting people's personal stories. No one cares about our people's health. Rich people can't buy medicine. Rich people can't buy hospitals. Some are also turning to less obvious platforms, including GitHub, which is a site mostly used by coders. Many rebel groups have put their information on GitHub. 然后还有一些团队的话，是在电报上面把一些微博跟微信上被审查了的截图发在电报的频道上面。Another taboo Chinese citizens are pushing back on: they're making open and widespread calls for freedom of speech. These were triggered by the death of Dr. Li Wenliang. He was an early whistleblower who warned about the virus and was punished by officials for speaking out. He died in early February from the coronavirus. Right after his death, the hashtag "I want freedom of speech" started to trend on Weibo, a Chinese social media site. Then it was quickly censored by the government. 就在李文亮医生去世那天晚上，整个微博上，就好像所有人都突然意识到说，言论自由很重要，然后我们要，呃，说话。The censorship that followed just further kind of galvanized us and made us feel that really the government was. Prioritizes censorship and suppressing free speech rather than acknowledging that they've made a mistake in in arresting him. Dr. Li's become an icon in the online fight for freedom of speech between censors and citizens. So who's winning? For now, citizens are staying a step ahead of the authorities, but a renewed government crackdown could test the strength of this digital resistance.